Gay Star Pizza is PBX. Now takes another step on hotel solutions. Now we can support direct integration with Arco Hospitality Opera as well as Micros Fidelio. This means our Pizza's PBX can connect directly to Opera and Micros Fidelio PMS without any middleware. Therefore, we can easily offer phone services to hotels that use these two PMSs, and in the meanwhile, offer abundant features such as call billings, wake-up calls. Mini bar billings and etc. In this video, we will take Opera as an example to explain step by step how to realize the interconnection. Well, if you prefer a written manual, you can find it in our description below. Okay, all set. Let's start with this video tutorial. For starters, we need to upgrade the PSRS PBX to the latest version. Then we log into the administrator interface, go to Plan, and find Add-on Subscription. Here we can purchase hotel PMS integration or get a 30-day free trial. Please note that this add-on is completely independent, which means if all you need is just the hotel PMS integration, you won't need other subscriptions. This add-on will suffice. Here we click on free trial and go on. One thing we need to ensure is that your Opera also matches the following rules. Then we need to guarantee that our PBX is in the same line as the PMS server. As for, it's the only way the data interaction will work. Now let's get back to the PSRS PBX admin interface. The next thing we need to do is to put our RAM film extensions and our extension groups in the PBX. This is because the data interaction between Oracle and PBX is realized based on groups, not directly on individual extensions. So here. We go to Extension and Trunk and find Extension Group. Click on Add. We can put all room phone extensions into one group, or have multiple groups by floors or room types, or we can even put one room extension in one group. Here we put all extensions in one group. Then we go to Integrations and select PMS. Find Oracle and click on the Integration button. Enable the PMS integration. And in PMS address, we、we'll、put in the local IP address and port from the PMS server. If you don't have that information, please go to your PMS supplier or installer to obtain it. Then we can go on to choose the extension groups that we have just created. Next, we're going to set up the wake-up calls. In this part, we can set the relative data of the wake-up calls and choose voice prompts played to the clients when they pick up the wake-up calls. Next, in the billing section, we set up the billing rule for calls and mini bars. We can choose based on destination and total cost, so that PBX will calculate the phone bill according to call rate rule settings, and post the total cost directly to PMS. And the costs will be added to the client's final bill. Or we can choose based on destination and duration, so that the PBX will only post the call duration and destination number to PMS. And PMS will generate phone bills accordingly. For mini bars, it works the same way. We choose based on total account, so the staff can calculate the consumed amount by themselves and directly dial the feature code to post the amount to PMS, or only dial to report consumed item and quantity, so PMS will generate the amount by itself. When we're done, click on Save, and we can check the status to see if the connections are successful. Now that we have finished the integration, PSRS PBX and Oracle are connected. When a new customer checks in from Oracle, his information will be automatically updated to the PBX. Upon checkout, the info will be removed. And in the meantime, other features like wake-up calls, phone bills, mini bar charges, claim status, and D&D will also be realized through data exchange between the two platforms. All right. So that was how we realized the integration between Oracle and PSRS PBX. Hope you guys like it, and don't forget to get the 30-day free trial from your PBX. And I will catch you guys in the next one.